how far is far by sukanya sena it's a very simple math non fiction story and it just sort of zooms out from from very from a cricket pitch which you can relate to from the height of a mango tree it goes all the way to the distance between the earth and the moon i think it's a fascinating book uh, just to bring in take away the fear of big numbers shonali chinaya wrote this book called the fabulous fibonacci uh, and uh, you know that that's a very interesting math concept about how nature and math are related even in nature you see patterns that that conform to uh, mathematical uh, series of petals in a sunflower the way the uh, walls of a seashell are arranged they all have to do with a mathematical pattern that follows very strict formulae so and and will help children who have an interest in natural history to realize that there is math there too you know that all our worlds are actually connected from the madam biryani and it is about these two children who are at home and their mom is ill and a contingent of relatives is about to descend and they don't want to say no because they know if their mom was well she would want them fed and you know treated to a great feast so one of them the boy is really good at cooking the girl is good at math and all that they have a recipe which is meant only for i think four or six people and 24 are coming and then they have to adjust the quantities in the recipe to cook it for 24 people and how they do it or how old is mutaji and uh, basically these two children are going to visit their great grandmother who lives in their grandmother's house and they're going along with their mother so there's a lot of these family connections that come in and birthday is always celebrated on a particular day nobody really knows when she was born or what's the date of her birth but once they go there these children are very curious and they are like but how old are you and like old people do who don't have a very strong sense of dates she remembers things in her life by other events that happened in the same year or around the same time and she's telling them you know this i got married when this happened i i was born 5 years after this happened and using these little little hints and using the resource of a public library the children actually be, become age detectives and history detectives while learning a lot of history they also find out how old she is at the end of it so went to far more simple concept like fraction how do you divide something equally into two parts and what does a fraction really mean by using the device of two children one older one younger who go off to a fair and have to share one plate of biryani one uh, portion of gulab jamuns uh, between them this has been this um, so the magic of fractions is revealed through that i spy yeah, this was written by sambhida venkatesh in the best tradition of simple subtraction stories you know you just keep taking away one or two and and we use the device of a, she uses the device of a children's of a child's birthday party uh, and they're playing hide and seek and how as each child is found the number of people to find gets less and less so more or less need to guess not a very simple math concept this one estimation but through the simple device of uh, there's a wedding party and these children have been sent upstairs to get a certain number of packets of mithai from the room above and they can't actually i mean the guests are almost leaving they're almost at the end of the lunch this has to be done quickly they they don't have the time to actually count out the number they need so they use this estimation and they act, actually managed to get exact not exactly but enough of the sweets to the guests in time uh the fourth story is uh, also not a very uh, it's a simple concept sorting like you know it's a very very basic concept in math and one that becomes more and more complicated as you grow older but actually the concept is the same two uh, of a snake and a sparrow who are best friends but they're so different from each other and their parents keep telling them that because you're different you should not be friends and how they then find they make it a, they challenge themselves to find similar things about them such so that they can convince their parents that they're actually similar and therefore they should be allowed to be friends but of course we end up saying that you don't have to be friends only with those who are similar with that as, as similar to you you can also be friends with people who are different so try to bring in in each story a lot of other stories a lot of other values uh busting a lot of stereotypes so all these things which are the bedrock of good children's writing and responsible children we're trying to bring that into but also trying to teach a math concepts